paint breed, there's basically three different types of bloodlines, or I'd say the stallions you breed to. One is the hunt seat, and one is the Western Pleasure, and that is in, infiltrates like Western riding, trail classes, horsemanship, and then there's halter, and that's another set of whole different stallions. So we have like a lot of different type of breeds in yeah. So a, a person that that um, they need to know that because a lot of people don't know that they may they horse is not per se um, maybe not built for this uh, industry. Sure. So, so what? So so for those that don't know, how many different industries are, are there for horses? Well, in in our deal, there's like. 40 different classes at four. a horse show. Okay, four different classes. Okay. No, 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 like 40. 40? There's a huge amount of classes, yeah. And I mean, it starts with usually the halter in the morning. Then they have a showmanship class, which is showing how the horse leads and, and acts on the lead when you lead them. Right. And you have to do spins and backs and set them up and they can't move. It's, it's real intricate, that kind of class. Then you have English, which is just judged, you know, it looks like the kind of the Olympic horses okay. in, the, in the English saddle. Okay. And those are judged on their movement. Then they have classes for the rider and they have to do special patterns for that. Okay. Then they have jumping, you know, in the English stuff. Okay. Um, then you go into the Western, which has even more classes. They start with the Western Pleasure, which is they go around the Coliseum on the rail and right. they judge walk, trot, and canter. And they they judge their movement. It's like a high level athlete. Like okay. the real talented ones move beautifully. They keep their heads level. Right. They go pretty slow, not super super slow, but and they they listen to the rider very closely. You ride on a loose rein. Okay. And then you have horsemanship classes where it's the rider, and you go from youth to amateur to you know walk trot kids, walk right. trot older people. But I mean, they have to do spins a little bit like raining. They okay. have to like lope fast sometimes and then lope slow and then change their lead, which is changing the direction. Wow. A little bit like raining. Okay. And then, I mean, we do have raining too. Yeah. Okay. And then they have trail where they have to go over all these poles. Right. A huge amount of poles. This is a lot. Up. It's, yeah, it's a lot. It's very intricate. Okay, so um, now let's talk about um, just the studs for the different categories. So okay. for, for, for Western, you would see more like a cat or a go down to like a, a dog bar, right? Right, right, right. And we, I don't do the, that would be more the reining or the ranch horse classes that would do that kind of breeding. Okay. Um, and we, this is the paint horse show. So paint horse people breed also to quarter horses and they just want to get some color or they want to get that color gene from it. So they breed to, they'll breed to, uh, in the hunt seat, they'll maybe breed to a horse that's called the wow factor. He's very good. And he's a son of all time fancy. Okay. And they will, um, that's real hot for the paint horses. But then they'll go breed to some quarter horse English stallions also. Okay. The pleasure we have, um, well, there was a famous one named Zippo. Uh, oh, God. Zippo Sensation, sorry. Okay. He has passed away, but he just was great. Okay. Um, we stand a horse named Lazy Lover, who's by a famous quarter horse. And I mean, he's real, real good. But okay. then there's a lot of quarter horses. There's yeah. plenty of quarter horse stallions, too, that they breed to. Wow, that's amazing. For the, for those that don't know, I mean, a lot, a lot of people don't know that that's amazing. So, okay, so some of these horses are very tall, like thoroughbreds, are yes, they? Yes, yes. So do you use thoroughbreds as well? They, the, I think the way we got the height in these horses is yes, they bred to thoroughbred mares all the time for oh. years. They would get a horse off the track and they'd breed a, a, a paint stallion to a thoroughbred. Okay. Not so much anymore because the thoroughbreds are a little more high energy. And okay. So they're, they've really bred these English horses just big already and now they mostly have paint or quarter horse in them. Further back they have the thoroughbred which actually you know helped get them bigger. Okay. All our horses are actually bigger than they used to be 30 years ago. 30 wow. years ago they were like 14, 14, 2 hands or okay. 15 hands was pretty good size. I mean now <laughs> even all these western horses you see are pretty good size. 15, wow. 2, 15, 1 and then the Huntsy horses are, are real big. And we I have some that are 18 hands. What is your, what is your specialty? Um, my wife and I do the all around. I do the western and I, I 
compare a lot of the hunt sea horses in the Western Pleasure. Um, my wife does everything, and wow. you know we do the the halter with some of them also. So, all right, uh, we, we have a busy day when we're doing I, this. And your name is Tim Gillespie. So, in, in your in your career, what are some of your highlights of being a trainer? Oh gosh, I, I love helping the youth and the amateur. Um, some of the kids we've worked with, we've worked with them since they've been seven, eight years old, and now you know they almost look at us like second parents so i mean that's the highlight but um we've had a lot of success in the paint horses and the quarter horse um my wife's out in arizona right now at a big show called the sun circuit okay and it, it's just gigantic and right. um, they did real good out there so 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 when you say um that's that's a that's a good point but what about for is uh if someone was to look you up for is your um uh, achievements in in this oh, sport yeah yeah oh gosh um <laughs> yeah we have we have won a lot of um i don't know probably how many how many times you won the world probably 40 maybe what yeah i started when i was in you wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute you mean to tell me you, you won the world about 40 times yeah yeah, yeah. and and uh, what and, and and um what the what what part well, was mostly now Western Pleasure, but when I was young, I was the number one youth in the nation, and I mean I ah! win in like five or ten classes uh, at every horse show. But um, yeah, my wife's probably won two hundred world titles in the paint horse industry. Two hundred, hundred fifty, probably two hundred. So yeah. so so when it comes down to knowing. This industry, you've mastered it for us under. Well, <laughs> you just think that, and then it changes. Yeah, and it gets to be a different degree. So you always have to be to keep going. Yeah, learning. You have to more. keep learning and okay. fighting because yeah, it it does change every That's four or five amazing. years. So it's uh, it's definitely. But we have like some young assistants that work with us that are right. amazing and you know help us keep it all going. So that's yeah. amazing. All right, so once again, this is A.D. Haddon Cowboy World. Your name is? Tim Gillespie. And where are we at right now? Uh, we are at the Houston Livestock Show. All right, thank you so much, Cowboy World.